so we as human beings are always in the mode of being judgmental so is a society moving towards more of them becoming judgmental than it was earlier i don't think both of us are qualified to talk about what was earlier because we have never been in that situation yeah so when you say more or less we should have knowledge of both situations but if you look at human behavior as such i don't think we are more judgmental and the people in the earlier eras were less judgmental being judgmental is a human trait and why are we judgmental we are judgmental because everybody likes to believe that he or she is right and the other person is wrong if these feelings were not there there would be no courtrooms and lawyers so it is a natural human tendency ki mere yahan sab kuch change hai aur wahan sab kuch gande hai comparisons and judgments are part and parcel of human existence okay so i mean nowadays it's seen more on twitter also you go so you you pass a comment and there are so many ha you have a valid point it. you use the correct word nowadays it seems more seems more when you say it seems more is because the inputs are more earlier i was dependent only on a newspaper then i had that facility of a radio then came the era of television so as means of communication became more and more efficient the means of getting more inputs have expanded and therefore based on my inputs when will i when will i become judgmental when i have an input then i have a comment if i have no input there is no comment so the earlier generation didn't have that many inputs and their judgments were based on pados mein kya ho raha hai family mein kya ho raha hai the judgments were based on their limited ambit today the ambit has expanded i am sitting in mumbai and commenting on joe biden jisse mera koi sambandh nahi hai very true correct why because i have an input i have access to google i have access to internet i have access to so many things jahan se knowledge is whether i like it or not knowledge is being thrown on me why whether i like it or not because i am addicted to my gadgets if i dump my gadgets aside all this knowledge will stop coming to me or this information will stop coming to me i can't call it knowledge it is information, information. and if information stops coming to me my opportunity for being judgmental starts reducing so i appear to be i seem to be more judgmental because i have a plethora of inputs dumped on me or i voluntarily attract it so generally the judgments are all negative mostly so it affects the person's judgment is an opinion okay sometimes it is based on facts and figures and sometimes it is on assumptions when the judgment is based on facts and figures it depends on the person who is processing the facts and figures his logic his sense of uh, reasoning and his conclusions that will be truthful or not truthful okay now being truthful can also be negative definitely so people don't like to listen to something which is not palatable you can you can see on the social media like you mentioned twitter yeah. and there will be comments for and there will be comments against against now that comes from my personal bias i like certain things i will put for i don't like the same thing i'll put against against so being judgmental is a normal natural human reaction so like it can have a positive side to it of course if it is done logically if it is done uh, rationally if it is done decently it is positive okay i can reprimand my child i can judge my child that child is uh, misbehaving and i can reprimand my child in a very nice gentle manner and i can reprimand my child in a very aggressive manner 
and I can reprimand my child for the same offense in a very physical manner. So there are three ways I can deal with my child. And maybe I have justification. When I talk to him nicely, he doesn't even listen. When I talk to him aggressively, at least he listens, but he doesn't implement. But when I slap him, he not only listens, but he implements the change that I want. My opinion. And probably I have never tried being gentle. Okay. And maybe the gentle approach would have worked much better. But I am convinced that gentle things don't work. And maybe that conviction comes from my experiences with other people, not my own child. So that has got reflected in my behavior towards my own child. As you spoke about children now, so I've seen youngsters, if you tell them something for their friends or something, they say, mom, you're being too judgmental. Hmm. So... It's fashionable to say that today's parents don't know anything. Yeah. They have less knowledge simply because I can handle a gadget much better and more efficiently than you can handle. As a child, I am more proficient in the handling of that cell phone or a smartphone or a tab, which my father and mother are not so good at. So that makes me believe that I am superior to my parents and therefore everything that my parents say needs a correction and that correction comes from me. So mom, you are judgmental. judgmental. And maybe your judgment is right. But the child is programmed to believe that whatever parents say is outdated. Yes. They say you're being too judgmental. That's and it. so what? My next question is, so what if I'm judgmental? What's wrong with that? That the parents don't ask. Okay, I'm judgmental. Let's assume that you're right. I'm judgmental. So what's the problem in that? We so take the that. conversation logically forward, which is mostly not done. Parents tend to back out for fear of losing their child's connection. Okay. So I know a person in the family is constantly judgmental. So how do you deal with such a person who is constantly judgmental for any little small thing that you do? I mean, he is... More than dealing with the person, it is dealing with the subject. Okay. You know, generally we deal with the person. And perhaps that's not the right approach. If the person who is judgmental is right about certain judgments, then you deal with that subject. And if the person is not right about the judgment about other subject, you just ignore. But instead of dealing with the subject, we deal with the person. judgment And the judgment might be absolutely accurate and useful for you. But you dismiss it because it came from this person. If it had come from this person, you would have accepted it. Okay. So stop dealing with the people, deal with the subject. Okay. Yeah, I mean, even I'm, I'm not saying stop dealing with the people as a blanket. I'm talking in terms of judgmental aspect of the person. Don't deal with the person because then you're dealing with a colored background. You deal with the subject. The subject is sensible. This person is judgmental, but in this case, he or she is sensible. So let me accept it. What happens to us is because you are saying it and I know you are judgmental, I reject everything that you are saying. Then I am not being sensible in considering a possibility that you could be right. Okay. Like I have always heard, jo short hote hai, wo cunning hote. Haan, <laughs> for a long time, I was also of the opinion and that opinion was formed because I used to deal with a lot of labor in factories and I had formed an opinion that all short people are cunning people. As I started understanding life through this life and breath program, I realized that you are born short for a reason. Okay, and that reason is your past karma. And that's why you are born short. Now you are born in a family that supports your past karma, which were bad. Example. So your bad gets accentuated in your upbringing. But this short person, born short because of past karmas, is born in a family that negates your negativity of the past and your upbringing is good, then this same short person can still be a good person. That revision came with the realization that there is a baggage that you carry 
and there is a cultivation of the baggage either in escalation or in reduction otherwise i was also of the judgmental belief that all short people are not to be trusted trusted yes <laughs> so you cannot uh, i mean you it depends on you how you take the judgment like that any judgment and remark that is being passed on you it depends on if a judgment is passed on you depending on how much you value the person who is giving the judgment the weightage is assigned as per your value the value of that person in your eyes so if if there's somebody whom i respect very much and if he passes a judgment because of my respect for that person i may I just really lap it up yes in full faith even though the judgment is wrong and if there is a person with whom i have always had disagreements even when his judgment is right i will dismiss it dismiss it absolutely very true very true so again i say don't deal with the person deal with the subject subject as far as judgments are concerned okay and uh, how can you stop being judgmental that's the easiest thing all of us have to do neighbor aaya are ye to aise hai we ek bar mein stopping yourself from indulging in negativity is entirely your domain first is your realization that you are indulging in negatives and second is your desire to do correction in yourself many a times we realize that we are doing something wrong but we have no desire to correct and the best example i always give is about smokers they realize that smoking is injurious to them yes. but they do nothing to correct that so how to stop being judgmental first is realization and second is your desire to correct yourself if these are missing you cannot correct yourself and uh, try to understand how that person is behaving in such a way from his point of view also before waste of time waste of time. are you trying to change that person you can't change anybody unless okay. the person wants to change okay and this person has come to you and say mujh mein na ye burai hai i am very judgmental can you help me becoming non judgmental then okay you can make an attempt but this will rarely happen this won't happen so basically how to overcome being judgmental is realization self realization yeah. is the best route for self correction when you correct yourself you stop being judgmental